Hey there, what's going on everyone? My name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 40 of Let's Play Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. So I want to open by saying I'm a tad bit annoyed as we're going into this episode because for whatever reason, my copy of Grandia 2 randomly crashed, which sort of hits home again why it's important to save whenever I guess I see a save point. So I didn't have too much different from what you guys had seen. I mean, we had literally just saved when we got to Era Space. So all that I really did without you was I refought all of the Star Mirages and I picked up the, like, I think it was 500 gold or however much gold it was. The gold pieces, we got a Yomi's Elixir and then the red shoes. Just to make sure I equip that on her. Yeah, so Millennia has the red shoes again. She's also now level 27. I'm not entirely certain if you guys saw that change together. I don't know. Ugh, it just drives me nuts. This is the second time, though, that it's crashed. And we have played now for, what are we at, 13-ish hours? Maybe a little less. So for getting this far into the game and only having two crashes, and neither of them have been that considerable of a delay in terms of how much happened between saves. I think I'll get over it. It just, it just agitates me. But the good news with this was when fighting the Star Mirages, I did get a seed of running this time as a drop. So that's pretty cool. Especially since I was kind of complaining a few episodes ago that I haven't seen seeds. I've just been getting those temporary nuts. So let's see the winner. If we cast lots, it's been so long since we have had a consumable item that permanently changes stats. So for those of you who don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I tend to like to randomize who gets what in a lot of games that I play just to switch it up. So you're not always pumping the same stats into the same characters every time you play a game. So I know that this doesn't optimize certain strengths of particular characters, nor does it necessarily guarantee that you'll be making up for areas of weakness with characters. I just like it to be random. So I always do it in an order, like Ryudo's one, Millennia's two, Ron is three, Merrick is four. And so if I quickly use my lots or random number generator, the winner of this is number one, and that is Ryudo, who is my number two. Well, probably my number three. Roan is number one, naturally. Okay, and now I need to figure out, where am I? Oh, this is where we are. You know what I'm going to do? I cleared out this place. I found everything. I'm pretty sure there were only three things that we had uncovered. But if I missed anything, it might just be a bag of change, maybe? I don't think, though, that I overlooked anything. This space isn't that massive. Oh yeah, so we are at 13 and a half hours, or a couple minutes shy of that. So not bad. It aggravates me, but it's not the end of the world. I'm just glad that I did decide to save here. But it wouldn't have delayed us too much. I just like there to be consistency between episodes, so I don't like to come back and then it's like, Rabbit, why are all of your characters five levels higher than they were when we parted ways? It's like, I'm sorry, you guys. Obviously, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> There's no way we would be five levels higher. Okay, just because I am kind of digging it, we'll do Merig's attack. We'll do this once again. Well, or not, because Merig is about to get the shit knocked out of him. Roan, what do we want you to do, my love? I kind of like Snowball Fight. It has a very expansive range. Wow, that was a waste. Oh no, I think I got two. Oh, I got three. I wonder. It's so hard to tell sometimes. It's like right on the edge of the spell, so you're not entirely certain if it's going to hit someone. And I think we just got another C drop. Did you guys see that? <laughs> no? Okay. I know I need to stop. What the jokes? What am I doing? Listen. Bad jokes are everything sometimes. But you do meet those people that joke around a little too much. Like they're always making bad jokes. Yes, there we go. A seed of running. And a level for Ryudo. Well, this is a nice way to kickstart all of this. And 500 Gs. 
Maybe that was what I was thinking about, that we had picked up and then it crashed for me. I don't know. Anyway, we got another seed of running, which is fabuloso. And turning to the same system, the winner for this one is number four, which is Merig. I love Merig so much. He's so adorable and fluffy and I think he seems like a sweetheart too. You know, I am starting to grow on Ryudo, if I may confess. Or maybe I should say he's starting to grow on me. But check this out, you guys. I don't know what this hax is. This is now the third seed of running we have randomly picked up from one of these encounters. So maybe the game feels sorry for me because I was super pissed when it crashed. I was ready to fucking rage quit. But now it's showing me mercy and giving me a ton of free stats, so I'll take it. So for this one, the victor is my sweet baby Roan. Perfect. Wow, so Millennia, hopefully you'll be next. That would be quite not. Oh, it looks like this is where we're supposed to go. Let me do one last checky check. Guys, I know I shouldn't be paranoid. But I want to make sure, because I highly doubt we will be revisiting this place ever again. But I feel 99% confident that we picked up all the shit that was scattered around the clouds. We got a lot of free shit, so you can't complain about that, can you? Oh, but as I was starting to say, <laughs> before I get too sidetracked, Ryudo is starting to grow on me. I feel like the last... Uh, let's just say the last three episodes, I think his personality has been developing much more quickly than it had for all of the episodes up until that point. Like, I kind of feel the start of this game was exceedingly slow. I wasn't too invested in the narrative. I personally only liked, you know, two characters that, I mean, I didn't dislike Ryudo, and I didn't necessarily hate Elena, but I wasn't super fond of them. But I feel like at this point, they've really done a good job of making you feel invested in what's happening. So yeah, is that weird that Marumu is kind of where it's been picking me up anyway? I feel more inclined to want there to be some sort of salvation for the people and there to be positive change. Whereas before it was just kind of like, yeah, okay, that's fine, whatever, let's go. You know what I mean? Maybe you guys didn't feel that way, but... What I can say with that, yeah, bring it on, you guys. What I can say with that is I am beginning to see why a lot of people regard this as their favorite RPG. Going into it, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The first five hours, I was kind of neutral. And then for the, like the three hours after that... I genuinely felt kind of like this game is super overrated and it's not even that challenging. I don't know. I I wouldn't say that I was beginning to dislike it, but my opinion was falling from a neutral point instead of getting higher and increasing. But now it's kind of swayed in the other direction where I don't know. I, I feel so bad for Era. I truly dislike Celine, so that's kind of nice. We've finally been introduced to... Uh, we better stop this thing. We've finally been introduced to a villain whose evilness actually gets to me. Everyone else so far has just sort of been like, okay, that doesn't really make sense, or what's happening here? Like, Lily, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think everything that happened at Lily was a bit odd and felt forced and still doesn't entirely make sense to me. Ooh, give me that money. But Marumu, for sure, has been the salvation, for me anyway, with this plot. And with a lot of the characters. I like how Ryudo's been reacting to things. You know, I acknowledge that maybe it's just me and that I was expecting it to just unravel a lot more of the story more quickly, but 
I'm sold now. And check it out, guys. We got another Ogre Helm. Isn't that nuts? And a level for Roan. Woohoo! Everyone's 27 now. That's kind of crazy. Before I forget, I need to dish out some mad heals. Our team is getting pooped on a little bit. Namely, Millennia was getting a little bit low. But we are all good to go. Oh, God. It looks like we're here. Did I miss anything before we fuck around with this? We got that. What is this? Why is this here? So I'd be interested in hearing what your first impressions of this game happen to be. I know for some people, it's hard to kind of identify that because you played this multiple times or you played it so long ago that nostalgia is a factor. So for those of you who played it blind one time and you can kind of recall, I would love to hear, did you think that it started off kind of slowly? Were you not really feeling everything that was going on at first? Or did you love it immediately? Or did you like it and then start to dislike it? So kind of the opposite of what happened with me, where I wasn't, oh my God, that looks like a giant eye, where I wasn't completely sold, but then now I'm completely invested. So I went from one side of the spectrum to the other. And you know what, guys? I realized, I told you I was going to use attack items and I have been poopy about it and I have not done that so let's let's just do it I know this is good against undead but I don't fucking care huge caterpillars hellhounds oh my god do you guys see the sky behind Ryudo their eyeballs that is disturbing Roan just whatever just attack someone Oh, we missed a few of them. Oh no, we got him. He was on the edge of the spell. Well, let it never be said, my friends, that I haven't used my attack items in a while because I just freaking did. I know, I'm trash, you guys. I, I never know what's happening. Okay, we came over here. There's more of those. What? What is, what the fuck? I can't believe that actually hit me. I was just looking at it. <gasps> I want that. Ooh. This is so weird. What is this fucking place? Era, why? You guys, check out this freaking hall. Two pretty rings. Holler. And we've got that extra ogre helm that we can sell because no one in the party can technically wear it outside of our two fellas. What is this? Ooh, disgusting. Just to be sure, there's nothing. No! Nice try, nice try, but I'm too fast for you. This is where I wanna be. Give me, give me a battle manicure? What? I'm not even sure. What does this do? Plus five attack level to one friend. Okay. That's. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That sounds like something that I will end up selling. Oh, look at this shit stashed over here. Illusion clothes, mirage earring, and we've seen bonds of trust before. So, illusion clothes, mirage earring. Illusion clothes. Illusion clothes. Illusion clothes. And then the mirage Hearing. Plus 10 movement ups evasion by 15%. What? And then plus 32 defense ups evasion by 5%. That is fucking sweet, you guys. I don't know. Do we want to... Should we give this to... I don't know. I think I'll give the illusion close to Roan. And then maybe, maybe we can do sometimes reflects damage. I like the reflection ring. I don't know if we'll need the sleep resistance. Ah, oh, but the defense you get from it. You know what? I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But that mirage earring sounds fantastic, doesn't it? I don't know if I can get behind the loss of defense, but oh man, 
that's quite a find. All right, let's start cleaning up these caterpillars. Millennia was not having any of their bullshit. But it seems like she still prioritizes fallen wings when she sort of auto-casts a spell. But I guess it's whatever. I don't think there's a way for me to select what she'll cast. Or if there is, I don't know what it is. Okay, that's where I ran. Okay, that's over here. And then we killed the monsters over here. And what the fuck? That needs to stop. That is going to give me nightmares, you guys. And why are there even caterpillars here? Era, what is your deal? He thinks Era has been smoking something a little strong for her age. Considering all this bullshit that is just randomly... Oh, there's more shit over here? That is just randomly fucking with us. All right, let's grab more money. We are going to be so fucking rich, you guys, with all the shit we have to sell as well. All right, let's take these guys down, and then we'll be pretty close to wrapping up. And more pretty rings for our stash. Excellent. And Ryudo is so close to hitting level 28. My goodness, it looks like there's more stuff waiting for us over here. I'm hoping that a save will be granted to us before we make it to the actual confrontation. What? Not this again. All right, let's take these guys down again. Oh my goodness. Check out our haul, you guys. Two ogre slayers from these freaking hellhounds? That is crazy. I was not even expecting to get a drop from them. That's nuts. That is freaking nuts. Hell yeah. I don't think anyone else can use it. So there's no reason for us to have two, but whatever. That's incredible. I can't believe it. I've had, what the fuck, some insane luck lately. We got another one. What is this? The game is showing me so much more mercy, and I don't even know why. What the fuck? Is she just wanting to farm? Mobius ring. What? What? Well, maybe we're not very close to where we need to be, so let's check out this Mobius ring, and then I guess we'll just call it an episode. So this gives plus two to attack, defense, act, and move. Uh, it's okay. I it's it's all right. It's not anything I would write home about, but whatever. Hey, it's still another accessory that we can potentially utilize or sell at the end of the day. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my Let's Play of Grandy 2 Anniversary Edition. I'll see you soon in our upcoming episode together.